Many of us will know someone that's diagnosed with breast cancer or have suffered with breast cancer themselves. In the UK, one in eight women will suffer with breast cancer. Surgery for breast cancer usually takes two forms in broad terms, breast conservation surgery or a mastectomy. Patients with small tumours would be suitable for breast conservation, but there are a number of other factors that determine this. This could be the location of the tumour within the breast and also the size of the breast itself. Following a diagnosis or treatment of cancer, the options can include breast reconstruction using an implant or using your own tissue. Breast reconstruction is a choice and this is extremely personal to each and every patient. It's really important to note that for a proportion of patients, breast reconstruction might not be on the cards and actually they'll be perfectly happy without reconstruction. In my experience, many more patients enjoy the benefits of breast reconstruction. It's important to be well informed about these so you make the correct decisions. Breast conserving surgery, also sometimes referred to as lumpectomy, refers to taking out part of the breast tissue and using the remaining breast tissue to reconstruct the breast. Breast conservation surgery is less interventional and the recovery following surgery is much more simple. The main advantage for patients is that this preserves the patient's own breast tissue, skin and nipple areola. This procedure does require radiotherapy and as a result can distort the breast tissue. This can sometimes be a concern for patients. Breast reconstruction can generally take one of two forms. One is implant-based breast reconstruction and the other is using your own tissue, the latter also known as autologous breast reconstruction. Implant-based reconstruction involves using often a silicon implant that is placed underneath the breast skin, either above or below the chest muscle, the pectoralis major muscle. Autologous reconstruction refers to reconstructing the breast using the patient's own tissue and this can be taken from a number of sites. The most common is the lower half of the tummy, but the back, the buttocks, the thighs are also possible options. Patients can have either immediate breast reconstruction or delayed breast reconstruction. Immediate refers to having their mastectomy and the reconstruction in the same operation. Delayed refers to having the mastectomy first waiting for a period of time and then coming back to have a reconstruction. Most patients for immediate implant breast reconstruction are suitable for surgery as a single stage procedure. This means that after the mastectomy, the reconstruction is performed using an implant with the intention of not having to change that implant as a planned second step. In single stage breast reconstruction, the aim would be to create the final product at the initial operation, and this has a great psychological benefit. Breast reconstruction with a tissue expander is a multi-stage procedure. In the first operation, we put a tissue expander underneath the skin. This is deflated. The patients then come back to clinic and we inflate the balloon with salt water. Once the breast is to the size that we require, we overinflate it a little allow a period of time for the tissues to stretch and relax. And once this has happened, the patient comes in for a further operation in which we take the tissue expander out and replace this with a permanent implant. Typically, the whole process can take up to about nine months. If you're thinking about breast reconstruction, there are many options available for you. It's really important to get all the information ahead of time. Speak to your breast reconstructive surgeon, the nurse specialists, our patient support groups, and look for online information. You will then be well informed to make the right decision for you. It's extremely important to feel like you have the time to make these decisions and ask these questions, and to know that there is no rush to do so. You are at the center of your own care, and in order to make the right decisions, you need to feel very supported by your key workers and we are here to support you throughout that.